Hello everybody, this is Jeff at eTrailer.com. Today we're going to take a look at this Furion RV tankless gas water heater. It has a 60,000 BT capacity and it fits the small 16 inch by 16 inch door size heaters. Now this tankless water heater will provide hot water on demand in your RV so you won't get caught without hot water again. This is a tankless water heater, has a heating capacity of 2.4 gallons per minute, so you'll have an instantaneous and consistent supply of hot water without having to wait for a tank to fill up. So basically, if your family wants to take multiple showers while you're doing the dishes or washing clothes in your camper, it's not a problem. This unit will allow you to perform multiple functions at once and continue to produce hot water on demand. And also, you won't waste money heating up water in a tank that may never be used. And you also may have to wait hours in between each person taking a shower for the water to warm up. So this has a powerful 60,000 BTU capacity. The unit will heat fast and performs effortlessly even when temperatures drop to 32 degrees Fahrenheit. I do want to zoom in, show you the front here. We talked about the door. It is designed to replace a four to six gallon water heater with a small size 16 inch by 16 inch door. And the door itself can easily be removed to access the inside of the water heater. Just to show you that, it's pretty simple. All you have to do is go to where this latch is, flip the latch up, twist it to where it lines up, releases the door, and then just grab your door right here and pull it out. Whoop, there you go. You can pull it right off the two pins. There's two pins at the bottom. And then with the door off, you gain full access to everything inside your heater. And then when you go to put the door back on, just line it up with the two holes, push it down, just push it down over the latch, pull out the latch, it's spring-loaded, pull it out and twist it, and that holds the door closed. Flip it down so it doesn't hit anything. And then you have this little seal here, you just want to make sure it seals where the vent is. But again, it's very simple to get into the heater, very easy to remove or install the door. <clears throat> Now this gas power keeps the hot water flowing when off the grid. Heating capacity performs even at low temperatures. It does use a Vortex system. If you look in the back here, this little tank here, this Vortex system will mix both the hot and cold water, eliminates fluctuations, reduces the risk of hot water scalding, and it does offer dual over temperature sensors which will automatically shut the power off if the water temperature exceeds a safe limit does have a safety valve which shows or allows the pressure to vent at 87 psi to prevent excess pressure and heat buildup. This unit is a nice reinforced construction. It does resist vibration and shock during travel. Now also what comes with this unit is this nice wall mounted controller. This will let you adjust the water temperature by degrees. It uses a white LED display to display temperature, time, and water pressure. You can see it has the two wires that will hook up to your 12 volt connection. It also has an alarm that alerts you when the pressure is too low. Now the mounting hardware to install this unit is not included. A few specs on this, the voltage, 12 volts DC. We mentioned heating capacity, it ranges from 13,000 to 60,000 BTUs. It does use automatic pilot ignition. The connections, which are on the back here, just wanted to mention or show you. You have your cold water inlet right down here, the blue cap hot water outlet, the red cap, and these caps are just on there to protect it. You just remove those when you make your connections. <clears throat> also in the very corner down here, here's your LP gas inlet connection. Now the temperature settings on this, the range is 95 degrees Fahrenheit to 124 degrees Fahrenheit. The default setting is 115 degrees Fahrenheit, and the shutoff setting is 149 degrees Fahrenheit. Weight on this unit is only about 28 pounds. Last thing I want to do is give you some dimensions on this. First, we're going to measure the unit itself. So the width of it is going to be right at 12 and 5 eighths inches wide. Height, bottom to the top, 12 and 5 eighths inches tall. And the total depth of the unit and the depth we're going to measure from the back of the door to the back of the tank right here. So if we put our ruler on, it's going to be right at 19 and a quarter inches deep. And the last measurement will be the access door we talked about. That's the whole front frame there, including the frame. That is going to measure 16 and 1 8 inches by 16 and 1 8 inches. 
Now it doesn't even include this nice user's manual that'll describe how this operates, how the connections are made. But that should do it for the review on the Furion RV tankless gas water heater, 60,000 BTU capacity for the small 16 inch by 16 inch door size.